Vermont Route 108, known to the locals as the Notch for out-of-state truckers. It's where they get in trouble with their bosses. In the past week, two tractor trailers have gotten stuck there. NBC5 Sid Boulay has more on how one town is taking a fun approach to raise awareness about a recurring traffic problem. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Hold up. Do you or do you not recognize this a man standing here? So there's a small section of the road up in Vermont over there on State Route uh, 108. There's a small session called Smuggler's Notch that semi-drivers are not supposed to be going through. But unfortunately for a few drivers, especially this month so far, you guys have decided to go through there and completely ignore the signs that says do not go through there. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. It's happened once again. Another tractor trailer truck got stuck uh, at Smuggler's Notch today. The driver said he thought he could make it through, ignored the signs. Vermont Route 108 was shut down for several hours as a result as uh, towing crews worked to remove the stuck truck. Vermont State Police tell us the Ohio driver admitted ignoring all the signs that uh, lead to that narrow winding notch road. The 66-year-old driver was issued a traffic ticket and a fine for more than $2,000, plus two points on his license. Maybe y'all just want to take a shortcut. Maybe you guys thought that you could get a 53-foot trailer around that little area. Well, me personally, I don't know where Smuggler's Notch is at. All I know is up in Virginia, or I'm sorry, up in Vermont, which I don't think I ever went through. Where is Vermont? Ain't, ain't Vermont up in that small section of the area that I don't like at all? Y'all can keep that. But here, a truck became stuck around 11 a.m. on August 15th. That was, what, yesterday? Yesterday, around 11 o'clock in the morning, a 66-year-old Ohio-based truck driver, his name is Billy. We'll just go with Billy. Good old Billy. Billy Bob, Billy Bob truck driver. He attempted to go through the notch from Stowe to Innisburg. It was reported that he believed that he would be able to make it through the notch and ignore the plenty of signs that says not to go there. He decided to get through there and what do you know? Couldn't get through there and held up traffic for about three and a half hours. He occurred a $2,300 fine. Guess who's gonna have to pay for that? You think the company is gonna pay for that? You think the company is gonna pay for that, right? Well, maybe the company might pay for that, but guess who's gonna end up paying for that? Yes, sir, good old Billy Bob. He's the one that's going to take care of that $2,300 fine. Maybe he'll set something up with his company and say, hey, hit me off with about $100 a week. <laughs> $100 a week for maybe about the next two years, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure how he's going to, how he's going to, you know, rectify this $2,300 $2, fine. But that was just the second driver that decided to go through that little session of the highway, Route 108, where plenty of signs that says, don't go. Here's a driver back on August 1st, 49 year old, good old Saran Canadia. Can't pronounce his name, so I am sorry, but we just gonna call you Canadia. Canadia, I guess. He also became stuck 
fucking smuggler's notch, but for reasons different than Billy Bob. Billy Bob actually thought he could get around it. This dude right here says, and I quote, I was unable to read or understand the English language. Wow. How you get your how you get your license, sir? How are you able to drive in the good old United States and you're not able to read the signs? How is that possible? How how is it that you're able to drive on the good old roads of the United States and you're not able to read the English signs oh, how like sway take a few steps back how is that possible sir oh, how like sway take a few steps back i don't understand it i do not understand it so he told the trooper that he didn't understand the sign so he decided to drive through the notch that was in august they say each year a semi truck becomes stuck around that notch because drivers are failing to take heed of the signs that says do not go through the notch. See, me as a truck driver, and I've been out here for years, and don't get me wrong, I, I've been in some, you know, precarious situations, but not all situations that I'm not able to read and understand where I'm not supposed to go through. If there's a bridge that says uh, 13 something, I take heed of that. If there's a bridge that says 12, I definitely take heed of that. If there's a sign that says no through trucks, I take heed of that. A lot of this, a, a lot of this stuff that these drivers get into are driver error. Don't get me wrong. I, I agree that majority of these drivers should be paying more attention to what they are actually doing on the road. And if there's signs that clearly mark that a driver is not supposed to go through, don't go through that. I mean, don't go through there, sir try to figure it out pull over to the side and figure it out if you have a digital tablet or a digital uh uh map that you can actually pull down zoom in and look for other other opportunities around maybe you need to do that or if push comes to shove call 911 let them know that you're a truck driver and you're in an unfortunate situation don't just take it upon yourself to, to go through areas that you're not supposed to be going through because you're going to end up paying a 23k ticket that might take a long time to pay my brother, you don't believe me i like it.